Hello there, Commanders, and welcome to another episode of Chinese Faction Preview. We are back on Swords, but this time on Sao Sao, and we will see how he works with them. So, we've already covered both Swords and Sao Sao, so let's just jump right into it. Um, it's really good, again, to go with your teammates. Sao Sao is a support commander, both he and his allies will benefit from Puppet Master. Uh, so the AoE isn't that huge, right? You have this uh, targeting range and only units within this little circle will uh, be affected by it. You've got Assault, which is a very weak charge. Well, let's test it, how the Assault will work together with um, Opportunist. Charge in. Do barely anything, um, buff yourself with that, and then opportunist. I mean, there are a few models knocked down in here in the first row, so we can still damage them. And they were down for quite a while. Climbs of the Phoenix. Bam. A lot of buff slash debuff. He didn't really reach everybody. So even though like these units are very clamped, closely together even then you can't really reach every one of it oh and you can assault use assault in melee so just like the harass charge then again it doesn't do anything <laughs> so why would you just way too weak so you want to use way of the f uh, sorry flames of the phoenix first and opportunities after that because Flames of the Phoenix buff your melee weapon damage as well. And it just gives you plus 50% melee weapon defense and melee weapon damage. So again, scales with strikes. At the same time, debuffs your enemies. For more memes. Okay, let's try to fly in this crisis unit. Might as well just use charge to reposition rather than uh, deal damage because it won't deal any damage anyway. Ah, I'm in Stone Bulwark, so that's why I was moving a bit slow. But then I can use, just use a one step ahead and I won't care at all. Flames of the Phoenix, bam. Fall up of Opportunist. Uh, this is then connect. Or maybe it doesn't cool down. Okay. Save a bulwark. Let's go. Also, if you're slowed down after using Flames of the Phoenix, you can use one step ahead. Like, nope. I'm not going to be slowed. Fuck being slowed. Fuck your tired face. It's bullshit. I just want the buffs. I don't want any debuffs. Debuffs are for noobs. Why do I need to get minus 11 movement speed here as well? I have to move quickly. But you can actually like do both roles, you can be that front line that holds the line with Bulwark and you can be that flanking force. Haha, <laughs> assault, look at this damage, rear charge. Oof! Oof, 620 damage with a rear charge! Okay, let's not do like an optimal rear charge. Let's go, I'll even buff myself with this. Bam! Oof, did you see that damage? It was like 2 300. <laughs> because some of these units dealt damage to this as well, so. It wasn't like 1600, no. Bam! Flames of the Phoenix, yes, get dragged. Opportunities, use them on knockdown enemies. I think they were highlighted because they were alive, and then Opportunist. They don't have to wait. And now that the reinforcements arrive, switch to Stone Bulwark, and now you're the front line, front line infantry, rather than uh, the engaging infantry. And then, no problem. Just use Flames of the Phoenix, knock them down, use one step ahead. You don't care about being slowed down by Stone Bulwark, you don't care about being slowed down by uh, Flames of the Phoenix tired face. Look, tired, minus 40% minus movement speed. What does it mean? I have one step ahead, and then bam, 
Easy disengage. Easy flanks. Flanks? Hello? Flanks? Can this unit be flanked? Now it is flanked. Thank you. There we go. Flank this now. On the right flank, I guess. Yeah, that would be. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's left flank. Uh, Mistro, cannot tell left from right. Okay, frontally. And you from the other flank. Oh, there we go. That's a re flank. Get you baited. Outplay. Bam! In combat charge. Should have probably ended up. But anyway, let's buff my allies, debuff my enemies. Puppet Master. Be a nice guy. So, 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 and swords. Even though he's technically a cavalry commander, works just as well in other different unique ways, which is really nice. Really nice to see that kind of combo. I mean, the similar with Stone Bulwark plus Deadly Precision, here you have with One Step Ahead, but then One Step Ahead, shorter cooldown, right? Actually, similar, similar duration. I think Deadly Precision lasts for 20 seconds, this one lasts 15 seconds. Obviously, upgrades will change that. Uh, so, you have uh, and also one step ahead gives you only the mobility it doesn't give you um, the damage buff right your damage buff is in your puppet master so with Sun Ren you need to use it either right before charging in to use all of the uh, abilities or all the buffs from that ability and since it lasts only 20 seconds it's very difficult on Sun Ren to use all of the buffs on the precision in the most efficient way like one way or another you will waste that buff slightly while in Sao Sao you don't really have to care about it you want movement speed uh, or mobility one step ahead you want damage puppet master and there's no like oh I want to use this ability but I will only be able to use part of it so that's a shame uh, or if I use this ability in the other situation, I won't be able to use the other part of this ability, you know, such as with deadly precision, right? So also it doesn't really care. So I think it's kind of better. Like that. Opportunist also nice that he um, damages and knock down enemies. We've covered that with glaives. Did we? We definitely covered that with cavalry. I don't even know if I did so also with glaives at this moment in time, I just lost count really <laughs> don't worry i do i do have a list uh, and i go one by one by one so if sao sao and glaives is something that is meant to be it will be done don't worry and if it is another list i guess after this video i can go and review that list come on that's not the right flank See, if I was Dong Zhuo, I would have routed it. Guan Yu wouldn't be enough because that would be minus 10. Then again, upgrades. So, look at them. Well, I still have Puppet Master. Oh, this unit didn't get inside. I mean, it was, but the center of the unit wasn't, so. Oh, yeah, no. Well, let's get off here. Yeah. Discovery coming. Counter charge. Yeah, that. Okay, that kind of works, somehow. Flames of the Phoenix! Oh no, I'm getting surrounded. No, I don't have any morale buffs. Western Bulwark doesn't give morale, no. Yeah, I don't have any morale buffs. Fuck! I got routed. And I got unrouted. I guess I'll use some Bulwark anyway. Make the unit survive longer. Debuff this enemy. Make this unit survive even longer. See, that's a really nice flexibility you can have with Sao Sao. And with Swordsman right themselves because swordsmen give you that flexibility of some bulwark and as i covered before well we're while we're fighting for e you can switch very quickly and pretty much seamlessly between frontline tanky guy with stone bulwark and flanking guy and vice versa oops i'm asleep i was supposed to be flames lord phoenix i think i know the debuff if only 
Cell Song had some kind of like speed debuff. For example, Puppet Master. If Puppet Master with one of his upgrades gives um, speed debuff on the enemy, then you would use um, Bam, you're slower. And Bam, I'm disengaging with one step ahead. And one step ahead would also make you faster. Yes, I have a stun bulwark. Okay, engage here, use stun bulwark. Uh, this thing is close to useless, so let's retreat it. Flank here. Yeah, one unit is tanking in stun bulwark, no problem. I'm just gonna, again, I'm such a bad player. Uh, and then bam, opportunist. Bam, get dragged. This guy's gonna run away. Nice. But yeah, I'm holding them here, waiting for my allies to come with reinforcements. Puppet Master, bam, available. There we go. Yeah. Let's engage. Just disable the Sun Bulwark in there. The Sun Bulwark is a toggle, right? When you disable it, you don't suffer the cooldown, so you can immediately go back into it. It's only the other way around, just like with Phalanx, where after you enter it, you have to stay in it for a bit. But it's not like there are huge um, disadvantages to being in a Stone Bulwark, unlike there are with Four Combat. Because Form Combat can only face frontally, and if you get attacked from the flanks, just like Phalanx, you kinda get shot on. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean whilst you still can? You always can strike with opportunist. That's the point of opportunist. Which then you don't need to wait for an opportunity because the opportunity is always there because it can strike knock down enemies and it can also strike any other enemies. The other ability is kind of like counterintuitive, like with how it's named. <laughs> but oh, I guess that's just slightly a meme. But to be honest, I really enjoy playing Sao Sao on swords. Sun Ren was also cool, very unique, right? Um, did I cover any other commanders on swords up to this point? I don't know, I said I really lost count. Sao Sao, despite being technically a cavalry commander, he's versatile enough to easily be a very good sword commander as well. But to be honest, compared to Sun Ren, who's technically the sword commander, is he better? I mean, to be honest, kind of, in some way, yes. I mean, they're, they're just so different that you are just comparing, you know, apples to oranges, which are both round fruit. So it means you can compare them. <laughs> oh, I'm no, I'm being fired at. Oh no, Stone Bulwark. Oh no, I'm slower because Stone Bulwark. Oh no, I'm not because I have one step ahead. All of them here, I guess I'll just strike from the front line here. Okay, Puppet Master. Bam. Phoenix. Oof, that was quite powerful, and then finish them off with nicer. So you definitely want to go again. I will just reiterate: you want to go Flames of the Phoenix first. You can buff yourself with Puppet Master as well. Flames of the Phoenix, bam, knocks down a lot of enemies. Follow up with Opportunist, Opportunist, because Opportunist uh, strikes down the uh, the soldiers that you've knocked down with Flames of the Phoenix. And if you were to do it the other way around. Is opportunist first, and then flames of the phoenix, and the flames of the phoenix wouldn't really connect with the enemy, with your target. So I guess let's show you that. Okay, opportunist knocks down flames of the phoenix. Better did anything, see. And again, they're, they're like pushing into me, so they just walked over those that I knocked down. Bam, Flames of the Phoenix. And a weak connection there. Whatever. Still good damage, and those ins are almost dead anyway. Well, we can always buff it with Puppet Master, right? Yeah, so so, definitely really cool. 
Bam! Flames of the Phoenix. And also the names. They're so cool. This is like vicious strikes. Flames of the Phoenix! It's cool. <laughs> Definitely Chinese game uh, with their names. Top notch. I'll, I'll give them a huge amount of points just for that. So, so, yeah, to be honest. Really enjoyable experience on playing with swords. Switching the playstyles very freely. And, well, that's, that's like a kind of medium medium light-ish infantry remains to be seen i guess tested finally later on once it goes live um and so Sao being very flexible commander the unit itself being quite flexible gives you really an opportunity to play in all various styles and just adjust on the go you're really reverse style and still quite strong and what what you're doing and whatever you're doing so yeah Sao Sao plus swords really good at least from what I have seen so far. Obviously that perception may change later. Then again, it doesn't have really like that many super powerful abilities like maybe Liu Bei or Dong Zuo or Guan Yu. Um, it is more oriented on that versatility, right? While Guan Yu, Dong Zuo, etc, etc, those I guess mentioned, they're more just all about their own damage. So we'll see just how that plays out once we can do some better testing but until then let me know down below in the comments what do you think about it is Sao Sao better than Sun Ren is he better than other commanders Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu, Liu Bei all those guys that are um, viable on swords and glaives I guess yeah, let me know let me know down in the comments and while you're there you can friendly fire that subscribe button help us bring the War arena back to the west and stay tuned for future Chinese previews. But until then, I'll see you on Arena's Battlefields, Commanders.